Today, we're diving deep into the battery life of the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6. We've got some real life test results that are going to blow your mind. So grab your popcorn, sit back, and let's get started. Our first stop is Phone Arena, where they put the Z Fold 6 head to head with its predecessor, the Z Fold 5. They ran it through the gauntlet of web browsing, video streaming, and 3D gaming. And the results? Absolutely stunning. The Z Fold 6 absolutely crushed the Z Fold 5 in every category. In web browsing test, the Z Fold 6 kept going for a hopping 12 hours and 42 minutes compared to the Z Fold 5's 9 hours and 22 minutes. That's a massive 3 hour difference. In video streaming test, the Z Fold 6 kept going for 7 hours and 1 minute, while the Z Fold 5 tacked out at 6 hours and 3 minutes. In 3D gaming test, the Z Fold 6 lasted a mind-boggling 11 hours and 1 minute, compared to the Z Fold 5's 5 hours and 34 minutes. That's almost double the battery life. How did Samsung pull this off with the same battery capacity? We're as shocked as you are, but the numbers don't lie. The Z Fold 6 is a battery life champion. Next up, we have fellow YouTuber, lover of tech. They pitted the Z Fold 6 against the Z Fold 5 and the Pixel Fold in a real world battery showdown. They use a mix of popular apps like TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, and more to simulate daily usage. Again, the Z Fold 6 came out on top, but this time the difference wasn't as dramatic. The Z Fold 6 managed six hours and five minutes, while the Z Fold 5 clocked in at five hours and 56 minutes. The Pixel Fold brought up the rear with five hours and 23 minutes. While the improvement isn't as drastic as Phone Arena's test, it's still impressive considering the Z Fold 6 is running on pre-release software. Plus, Samsung's AI-powered battery optimization is expected to get even better over time. Now, this is where things get interesting. TechDroider dropped a battery drain test comparing a bunch of flagship phones, including the Z Fold 6, and the results were, well, shocking. In the first phase of the test, PubMobile, the Z Fold 6 held its own with a battery level of 37% after three hours. But when it came to the browsing and camera tests, the Z Fold 6 really shined. It lasted a solid 10 hours and 21 minutes before giving up the ghost. That's right, folks. The Z Fold 6 not only outlasted its direct competitor, the OnePlus Open, but it also matched the battery life of the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 6, which has a smaller battery. So there you have it. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 6 is a battery life beast. While the results from different tests vary slightly, it's clear that Samsung has made significant improvements in battery efficiency. Whether you're a heavy gamer, a binge watcher, or a social media addict, the Z Fold 6 has got you covered. But remember, these are early tests and real world battery life can vary depending on your usage patterns. What do you think about these results? Let me know in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Today, we are diving into the latest buzz surrounding the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Buckle up, because this phone is shaping up to be a true game changer in the world of smartphones. Let's get into the juicy details. First off, Samsung seems laser focused on making the S25 Ultra the king of smartphones in 2025. The company appears to be using a two-pronged attack to achieve this, a monstrous camera system and mind-blowing performance upgrades. Let's start with the camera. The Galaxy S25 Ultra is expected to stick with its familiar quad camera setup, but with some serious enhancements. The main sensor will likely boast a hopping 200 megapixels, matching the S24 Ultra but optimized for the S25 Ultra's specific hardware thanks to the new Snapdragon Agent 4 camera ISP. But that's not all. We're also looking at a 5X optical zoom lens with a 50 megapixel sensor, a brand new 3X optical zoom lens, also with a 50 megapixel sensor, and an ultra wide angle lens getting a bump to 50 megapixels as well. These upgrades, particularly for the 3X zoom and ultra wide sensors are long overdue and promise to significantly elevate mobile photography. Now let's talk about performance. One of the most exciting rumors is the reintroduction of a fan favorite feature, a 16 gigabytes RAM option, and not just any RAM, but the industry-first LPDDR5X RAM, capable of speeds up to a staggering 10.7 GEPs. This translates to unparalleled performance for on-device AI, demanding tasks like cloud gaming, and much more. When you combine this insane RAM with the power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 processor, the S25 Ultra has the potential to be the absolute performance leader in the smartphone world. Speaking of the Agent 4, another reliable leak suggests it'll house the most powerful GPU ever seen in a smartphone. Benchmarks show prototypes running Genshin Impact at a smooth 1080 resolution and 60 FPS. A dream for mobile gamers. 
Currently, this popular game is capped at 720 on most phones and maintaining a consistent 60 FPS is a struggle. Of course, with great power comes a potentially higher price tag. Rumors suggest the Snapdragon Agent 4 chip could inflate the price of the entire S25 series compared to its predecessor. Qualcomm has reportedly increased the cost of the Agent 4 significantly compared to the Agent 3. This leaves Samsung with a tough choice, raise prices across the board or potentially use the Exynos 2500 processor for the S25 and S25 Plus, reserving the mighty Agent 4 exclusively for the S25 Ultra. The Agent 4 itself is a whole new beast, built from the ground up using Qualcomm's Super Orion cores previously seen in their laptops this chip has the potential to give the Galaxy S25 Ultra performance that rivals some Apple M-series laptops. But wait, there's more! We also have hot rumors about the Galaxy S25 Ultra being equipped with the next generation of storage, UFS 4.1. Universal Flash Storage, or UFS, determines how fast your phone can access and store data. The latest and greatest version is UFS 4.0, which powers many current flagships, including the Galaxy S24. But the future is calling and whispers suggest the Galaxy S25 Ultra might be the first to sport UFS 4.1. While UFS 5.0 is expected around 2027, UFS 4.1 steps in as a minor yet significant upgrade. It's not a mind-blowing jump in raw numbers, but it's targeted to enhance specific areas like on-device AI features. Faster read and write speeds with UFS 4.1 will allow the phone to access data needed by AI algorithms much quicker, translating to smoother performance for features like scene optimization in your camera app, real-time language translation, and other background AI functions. So what does this all mean? The Galaxy S25 Ultra, if equipped with UFS 4.1, is shaping up to be a powerhouse for AI enthusiasts. Faster data access, improved multitasking, and potential battery life improvements. That's a recipe for a future-proof phone ready to tackle demanding tasks. Of course, this is all based on rumors for now, but one thing's for sure, the future of smartphones looks increasingly intertwined with the power of AI, and the Galaxy S25 Ultra, with its potential UFS 4.1 upgrade, might just be at the forefront of that exciting evolution. So there you have it! What are your thoughts on the upcoming S25 Ultra? Are the camera upgrades exciting you? Can't wait for the return of 16GB RAM? Or is the potential power of the Snapdragon Agent 4 blowing your mind? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in! I will see you in the next one, guys. Until then, goodbye.